1914, the news rolled in, the start of the Great World War. Kitchener said, your country needs you. Join us, friends, brothers and more. So piles from Leeds, 900 strong, flocked to join the fight. On the 3rd of September at Victoria Town Hall, they signed their names to the plight. Farmers, sportsmen, teachers and boys were recruited to the cause. At Leeds train station, they climbed aboard to cheers and great applause. The nervous soldiers, trying not to be scared, smiled as the train departed. Wives and children smiled and waved, but inside were broken-hearted. They left the city streets they knew for lambs and trees and grass. Fields of cows and calves by side replaced stone, steel and glass. Arriving at Massam Station to be prepared for their task, strange fields surrounded them as the wind whistled through the grass. Departing the train, they marched in forth with drums and bugles playing. On horseback at the head of the column, Colonel Stead was staying. Out of the station, onto the road, over the bridge they marched, past farms and pubs, the school and the chapel. On arrival, the men were parched. Colonel Stead paraded his men, told them what he expected. Punctuality to become thin and strong, soldiers to be respected. The men began to build bell tents to protect them from the gales, to survive the icy wind and hails of the Yorkshire Dale. They marched to Ripon along snowy roads, then stood to attention in ranks, jumped barbed wire fences and dug long trenches, stretching men over dreary banks. They also practised musketry with rifles held up high, caught rabbits to cook in a tasty stew, or training to survive. In January 1915, they sailed to Egypt to begin their war, then onward to France by train, loyal comrades by the score. In waterlogged trenches waiting to fight, letters were sent home, gunfire filled the filthy air, whilst round their feet rats roamed. On the British front line, the men prepared the first wave of attack. Murderous fire filled the night, there was no going back. Hundreds of pals their lives they gave on that terrible July day. But memory of that sacrifice will never fade away. Well